Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to The Hard 100, a video series documenting the culling of my collection from what it is to what it's going to be, and that's a Hard 100 Games. Now, we can't all agree if a game is good or not, but there are some awards out there that say that a game is good. The game today we're looking at won the Spiel des Jahres in 2017, and you know what? Based on what came out that year, maybe it deserved it, maybe it didn't. Today, all I know is I'm taking a look at King Domino. King Domino, winner of the Game of the Year King Domino by Bruno Cathala and Cyril Bouquet, is a tile laying game that uses dominoes as its base. What you're doing is everyone has their little kingdom and a little starting tile, and you are laying down tiles in a grid. It can't exceed a certain amount depending on which variant you're playing. And what you're doing is there are a row of available tiles. You're gonna take your little dude, you're gonna put it on a, tile, on a space, and you're gonna take that tile and put it in your little kingdom. And then depending on which one you took will depend on who gets first choice next time. And then all of the tiles are kind of a flow of them as they go through. Why are you building this kingdom? Who knows? But you're building it to win the game. And you win the game, on some of the tiles there's a little crown. And that little crown will give you points based on how many of that type of terrain are connected together. Think like a Carcassonne kind of thing. Now, the game itself is deceptively simple. The rules are a page tops. And they come with these cute little things. Look at these little, these little, uh, these little castles. They go on your thing. Very cute. The box is minimal. Everyone, they have these chunky tiles and the numbers on the back will depend on the order they go in. Oh God. These also happen to be, and correct me if I'm wrong, mm -hmm, the chunkiest tiles I've seen in a long time. These tiles are chunky as F. And the art on them is really nice. Some of them are double, some of them are not, and then you can kind of put them wherever you want to put them in the board. And the box itself, minimal, beautiful. Game designers, everything goes in here. This is wonderful. This is a good little box, and the rules go on it. And then after the rules go on it, the box top goes on it. Look at that, all this little game. This little game won Game of the Year, 2017. I played this game with Phil a long time ago, and once again, we're in the fuzzy bits. I remember enjoying it. I remember playing, oh, that's pretty good. But it wasn't like Quest for El Dorado, where I played it and I was like, this game should be the Spiel des Jahres winner. This should be the game of the year. I played this and I immediately thought, I wonder what the other games were. I wonder what the competition was. I didn't look it up, don't worry about it. It's good enough, I picked it up for pretty cheap at half price books. It's not a bad game. This is board game Skittles. This is something you eat a little bit of and then you're done and you don't really want any more. There are not a lot of decisions to make. King Domino, game of the year, not for me. Out of my hard 100, ha ha, zing! But it's not a bad game, guys. Let's uh, let's housekeep. Eight and up, all right. Two to four players, only played it two. I'd be interested in playing it with three, maybe. And then 15 minutes. It is a short game. We played it a couple of times when we played it, if I recall. And I just, it was fun. We played it the first time, I was like, oh, that was fun, you wanna play it again? Sure, oh, that was fun, you wanna play it again? No, I'm good, don't wanna play it anymore. And I really don't wanna play it anymore as well. I think it might be good for families. I know I've, been, I've said before, like, oh, when, when Olive gets older, when my baby gets older, we can play this, but I would, I'd rather play something else. I'd rather play actual dominoes than King Domino. I know there's a Queen Domino and like a super big mega version of this. It's not worth it. This one right here might be good though. It might be good for your shelf. It's not good for mine. Doesn't mean it's a bad game. It won the Spill of Jars for crying out loud, wherever it is. The art is beautiful. I don't really have a lot to say about it. Blue Orange Games, they have not made a lot of games that I've enjoyed. They made Vikings on board. We saw how that worked out, but we know they have some goodness in them. This is a good game. It's solid. It's Skittles. I ate them, but now I want some meat. Give me some meat. Where will that meat lie? Will it lie in the next game we look at? Probably not, but it might. But it will! This episode is over. Thank you so much for joining me on this Fuzzy Bits of the Hard 100. These videos are a bit shorter because there's not really a lot to talk about. You know when you're going to keep a game and when you're going to get rid of it. And after two plays of this, I knew it was destined for someone else. But not me. Again, my name is Billy. You are the people. Thank you so much. Peace out.